Let's do this. Every time you look at these famous cases of people who are extremely successful in their morning routines, and there's always one thing that seems to be a common denominator, is that they wake up early. Now, I'm a huge fan of sleep. I'm a bit of a dream connoisseur myself, and there's nothing that beats a well-rested, good night's sleep. I'm also someone who wants to improve myself and those success stories, I want that to be my story. Can sacrificing some Z's and making an early morning party routine actually make those dramatic changes? Well, let's find out. Welcome to my channel where I take on adventures, challenges, and tell you my opinions to encourage you to take on adventures yourself because life, it's amazing. Live it together a little bit more, shall we? And if that sounds like something that ding, 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 rings your bell, consider liking and subscribing. But let's talk about the early morning challenge and routine. But first, what were the parameters of the challenge? I decided to wake up at 6 a.m every morning for a week. Now, hold up, hold up. Before you get mad for those people who are saying that you do that every single day for work and for school or for other activities anyways, uh, yeah. usually the challenge for 4 a.m. and 5 a.m. But I decided to do 6 a.m. for a very specific reason. Being a ninja warrior, parkour, and rock climbing coach, I work afternoons. So most of my schedule's already shifted more to the afternoons anyways. I'm usually done work at about 9 p.m. So by the time I get back home, I eat and I get ready. And if I wanted to go to bed decently early at about 10 p.m., that gives me about eight hours in order to wake up at 6 a.m. I feel like if I did any earlier, I wouldn't be able to be a functioning human being. You gotta get that eight hour sleep cycle. Oh baby, there's nothing better than a good night, eight hour sleep, even though there's some scientific studies that show depending on your age, gender, and other factors that you might not need eight hours of sleep. Mom, some people might need nine and some people might need seven. Who knows? Oh boy, eight hours though. That's that's my sweet spot. Another reason why this would be way more difficult is I usually try to be productive at night. After work, as I said, that is when I do most of my work on computer and on my phone, but I am in front of a screen a lot right before going to bed. So I think that's definitely affecting my sleep. So I'm hoping that the dramatic changes will be bigger just because of my day-to-day -day lifestyle already. To make sure I stay on task and I don't forget and maybe accidentally sleep in, the iPhone has a bedtime feature where you can set when you like to to go to bed when you'd like to wake up it will tell you your hours of how long you'll be sleeping and then it will turn your screen one with reminders two it'll make it so it doesn't have that full light it has that ambient oranges tint or put your phone on silent and it also tracks your sleep cycles I mean, it don't have to connect or probe to anything. Just if you use your screen during the night, it will record that and then you can always check to see if you actually slept throughout the entire night. You can also choose what days of the week you wanna do it. I decided to do every single day, even the weekends. Ooh. There's a bunch of free apps on Android that you can use in order to do the exact same thing. So if you have one that you specifically like, leave it in the comments below for other people to see which ones you use. I thought that this challenge was gonna make some dramatic effects because of the change in lifestyle, but how did it actually feel? Well, the obvious happened. I started to get tired earlier. Before, I would start to get tired about, eh, I don't know, midnight, maybe one o'clock, and that's when probably I would sleep. But now uh, Mr. Sandman would start coming and paying me a visit closer to nine o'clock. Not like a dead sleep where I feel like I need to fall asleep, but more just Mr. Sandman's giving me a little light tap in the shoulder. Waking up extremely early, relative to my schedule, I wasn't as tired as I thought I was going to be. I thought I was gonna wake up groggy and it'll take a while to wake up and maybe I have to do some other stuff and ah, the morning would be a struggle, but it was actually great. I also knew I was gonna be doing this challenge, so making sure I got enough sleep beforehand in order to succeed this challenge. Maybe just because I call it a challenge, all of that, I did have an advantage that other people don't have. I'm really happy with what I do during the day. My work during the afternoon is very fulfilling and it's a giant playground. Like I said, I'm a ninja warrior, parkour, and rock climbing coach. Now that's fun and I can do that every single day. When I'm not at work, I'm spending time with my amazing girlfriend and we're going on adventures. And if it's just me time, either doing some really nerdy stuff or I'm working on these videos and I enjoy all the process. What about the changes that it promised to my life? I'm gonna explain the outcome in the best way I know and that I love with a pros and cons list. Let's start with the benefits of waking up early. You have lots of time to do stuff and you get to start your day right. If there's a change you wanna do in your life, such as you wanna be healthier, this is what they're talking about where you start your day and you have the time and you have no excuses. You are up, you have time, and you can go. That's why I'm starting to understand why people work out at four, five, six in the morning, because it's the first thing they do, they get it done, even if they don't want to. 
there are no excuses. If the person beside you decides to sleep in, but you wake up early to put the time and effort into it, this is what they're talking about, where you start your day productive. And it's a great way to build discipline. There's a good chance you're not achieving what you want in life because you don't have the discipline. Now you might have the motivation to want to do it and the desire to actually accomplish that. And you know that that's something that you want, but for whatever reason, you're not doing it. You're not putting it the time that you need day in day out because you lack that discipline. Discipline and motivation are not the same thing. And you are more productive in the morning. Like I thought I was productive at night, but a lot of times I just wanted to rest. I got distracted way more easily. And sometimes I wanted to stop a lot more or it affected my sleep, which kind of affected the open window that I have before work. And so I'd actually lose more time by spending time at night in front of a screen that I did in the morning. I also wasn't as productive as I thought I was. I thought I was this night worker, not. You have to look at your actual schedule and see if you're actually productive. What you think and what you're actually doing might be two completely different things. And there's a lot of science behind with your brains and scientific stuff. I'm not gonna pretend I'm a scientist, but there's a lot of science about how you're more productive in the morning. If you work, during the day or to school, you will actually find the most benefits during the weekends because you have a big chunk of you time that you get to finish stuff and then you get to do whatever you want during your weekends. If you get distracted and you end up losing 30 minutes, even an hour of just watching something else, I wouldn't lose that much time. Yeah, you still lost an hour, but you still have that window of opportunity to be productive and get back into that workhorse. In the workhorse? Oh. I also got a lot better sleep because I wasn't in front of screens for long periods of time right before going to bed. So, ooh, sleepy time actually was better. So I'm more productive awake and sleeping. But there are some downsides to waking up early. You kind of have to have a night routine or willing to do that night routine in order to be able to do this. Also, you're not gonna be a functioning human being. There was one day where I didn't get that eight hour sleep and I felt so groggy and it took a while to wake up. The good news is if I don't get a lot of sleep, I'm still productive in the morning. I'll be less productive at night, but working afternoons, that's really tough to be at work extremely tired. Those who have done that know exactly what I'm talking about. Are you just someone that is just so difficult to get off your screen or off your phone before going to bed? I think that is something that you're gonna need to fix first. You also need to listen to your body and make sure you're actually being healthy because there's a chance that if you're doing this every single day, you're gonna get very, very tired. If you miss out on sleep every single night, you can see the bags under my eyes. Some nights you're gonna need more sleep. Sometimes you're gonna need a nap. Sometimes you need to not have your alarm. This is not sustainable if you don't get enough sleep. Listen to your body and make sure you are healthy. But not a lot of people are gonna get the same benefits as I do because if you go to school, you go to work. You're gonna have to wake up about 4 a.m. to have about that hour, hour and a half window to do that one thing that you wanna be productive for. It's kind of also a downside. You can only work on one thing during the week. And you might be a night owl. Now, I thought it was a night owl, but I do know someone who's actually a night owl that they will stay up until four, five in the morning. That's just how they function. I don't know how to check if you're a night owl because I thought I was a little bit, but this morning thing's doing great. I'm, I'm loving it. As you can tell by a little bit of bags under my eyes, but not anyone is like that. Brandon Sanderson is my favorite fantasy author. He starts at 12 in the afternoon and then he works all the way till four in the morning. That's his work schedule, that's his work cycle and it works for him and he's extremely successful. And the biggest thing is you need to be productive. There's no point of waking up early if you're not going to be productive, if you're not gonna get things done. You need to have a project, you need to have an idea of what you're gonna go through. If you're someone who's just gonna end up watching videos, you're just gonna stay in bed, you're just gonna watch your phone, it, then it doesn't matter. Then you've done this discipline just to be disciplined, to be stuck on something that's not going to help you in your future. So here's some tips in order to be a little bit more productive. The first is I have a whiteboard in my room. It's right over there, it's over there. There I can write the important things that I need to get done. Or I just have these thoughts in your head and you just wanna write them down somewhere. Get them down. Don't keep them in your head. You gotta tame that wilderness. Ooh, those thought horses, rein those in. The whiteboard is your thought stable. Now the other important one that I started using is something called Microsoft To Do. It is a to-do list, which I'm gonna put a link down below in the description of the YouTube video, but it's such an easy to-do list. It's very simple to use. I just watched a one simple 20 minute tutorial on all the features. It keeps track of everything. I put what I wanna do during the day. You put 
due dates, you put reminders, very easy to use, very easy to organize, and it makes sure that I am productive. And it's free. And my final thoughts and what I'm going to rate this challenge. There are some downsides. Yes, it's not gonna work for everyone. Yes, but you should not be using that as an excuse because the upsides definitely have way more benefits. And it removes that excuse. You give yourself time, you give yourself that opportunity. A lot of you, if you had one shot, a one opportunity, would you take it or would you let it slip? Those are the lyrics, right? I love that song. You are creating yourself that opportunity. All you have to do is take it and that's where you're gonna start taking those steps and it builds that discipline, those mind muscles that you need in order to have a more adventurous and better life. Boom, 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 boom. Look how strong those are. Most of us are unproductive during the afternoons anyways. A lot of us kind of just sit down, kind of just watch movies, kind of just waste time instead of spending time. This makes sure that the time that you have, you're spending it with something and eliminating when you're not. And there's a reason why this is successful and I can feel it and I'm definitely gonna keep doing it. it's just part of my normal schedule there's a reason why these success stories exist and I'm starting to see why I give this a rating of yeah let's do it it's super easy to get into there's so many benefits to have that adventurous and better lifestyle now I sleep with one of these bad boys right here. So if you want one of your own, I put a link in the description. It's Bluetooth so you can listen to music and stuff. I talk about it in my meditation a little bit. And there's also links down below if you want to save money and look for adventures. And I use Groupon and Airbnb experiences, which are my two favorite that I use. So that's my experience. Have you tried it before? Are you going to try this? Add this to your lifestyle? Are you an actual night owl, but you're actually still more productive? I would love to hear you trying out this challenge yourself, or if you've already been doing it and tell me all about the benefits in the comments, or you can hit me up on social media. I will see you at the next adventure.